Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can add these cool video transitions with Morph to bring your slides to life. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation. So we'll go File, New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout, Blank. First, let's add some video. We'll go to Insert, Video, Stock Videos. I typed Curve and picked three that I like the look of. Which will be this, this, and this. Click Insert. We can now crop them to get them looking good on the screen. To do that, we just click on the video, go to Video Format, and click Crop. You can click off it or press Return. Size it down to whatever you want, drag it to wherever you want. Now we can crop the one in the middle of the screen. Again, click on it, video format, crop. Drag the black handles in. Click off it or press return. Then you can size it to whatever you want. We can adjust the positions of these later, but this is roughly in the position we want. Now let's crop this third one. Click on it, video format, crop. Drag in the black bars. I'm going to make this pretty much square. Click off it, drag it to its position and size it. You can adjust these to whatever you think looks good. This will do for now. I'll just add in the background by right clicking, choosing Format Background. I'm going to choose Gradient Fill and I selected two colours from this middle image and a radial type. To do that, you can click on one of these colours, go to Eyedropper and then pick the colour you want. For the second colour, I chose this darker purple and I chose a radial type. I think this looks good, and picking colours from the main image you choose is a nice way to get a background that works well with your imagery, or video in this case. We're going to add a reflection effect to this main element, so we'll click on it, and under Video Format, you can get to that by right-clicking and choosing Format Video. We can go to this second option here for Effects, then choose Reflection, and pick the first preset, which is Tight Reflection Touching. That looks good, let's just check that. Looking nice. We can now duplicate the slide, turn on Morph, and get it to morph nicely to focus in on the video we want. So I can click on the slide, Control D to duplicate, we'll go to Transitions, and make sure that Morph is turned on. I want this duration to be 1.25, and that is the time between each slide for the morph to take place. So I'm now going to size this one down, move it over to the left, remove the effect, bring this one into the centre, size it up so we can focus in on it, and then add the reflection to this one. So now when we play from the first slide, we'll have the video run, and then we can click and it will smoothly morph to the next slide. If you'd like to, you can also fade back the other two videos that aren't the focus. And to do that, you can't right click, choose format video and adjust the transparency as you can with images, but you can go to animations, choose add animation, and then select transparency. I'm going to select 75% for this, and make sure that it happens with previous, and then apply it to this video as well. So we'll go to Add Animation, Transparency, Start with Previous. So now when I run that from the beginning, it will smoothly transition and then knock back the other two videos, which is a really nice effect. I'll just quickly do it to the final slide. So we'll press Ctrl D to duplicate. We'll take off the effect of this by going to Presets and choosing No Reflection. 
We'll move this over here and this into the center. We can also make this a little bigger. I'm holding down Control and Shift and dragging from the corner to resize it from the center. And this one a little smaller just by dragging in the corner point. We can add the effect, reflection, and the first option. Then if I go to the animation pane, I can remove the transparency option that we put onto this one by clicking on it, seeing where it is there, which is this one, clicking on that and pressing delete. And I can add the transparency to this one by clicking on it, going to add animation, transparency, effect options, 75%, start with previous. And now let's run that from the beginning. So we start off with a focus on the main area, zoom into the second one, knocking back the other two, and then finally show the third one and knocking back the other two. I think this is a really cool effect and you can apply it to any videos in any style to bring your slides to life. And if you'd like to download any of the source files for any of these tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you want to become a PowerPoint expert and make stunning slides, then watch the next video. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.